Hello and welcome to this video review for Bellows Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. All right, this company Bellows was founded in 1830, not 1930, 1830 in New York City. Oh, well, you know the story. They got bought out like everybody else pretty much and now they're owned by Luxco. Luxco mellowed four years in oak barrels. A name of honor established now they have B bellows a print B and a cursive B they used to have a housefly not a B a housefly it was strange now in the background in the yellow yellow printing there's an old uh, distillery I guess in Kentucky bottled by bellows and company of st. Louis Missouri it's Kentucky straight whiskey so we know it's distilled in Kentucky probably at their Lux row distilling a facility where they make um, Ezra Brooks all right um, this is one liter all right one liter and I was at Savannah discount on Louisiana Highway 45 <laughs> oh that's say 47 that's in St. Bernard Parish Louisiana Highway 45 northbound some of you don't know where that is in Marrero Louisiana one of the fantastic liquor stores in the United States. Believe me. Believe you me. Believe me you. So we're in there shopping, me and uh, two other people. And uh, the man said, hey, do you want to try this? And I saw Bellows. I said, well, I have that already. I'm thinking Bellows um, Blended Whiskey, which I've done the video for Bellows Blended. And then I looked on the shelf and I said, straight. Kentucky bourbon whiskey and I went and saw the guy I said hey hey come see I said uh, oh it's I, 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 I was confused I said how much is this bottle oh let me see so he goes to the register let's go check and they ring it up $5.99 I said $5.99 you don't ask questions at that point you just buy and get out but they, they have extremely low discounts there anyway so it's not a hustle uh, they have prices that are beyond any conception that you might have like a 1,750 milliliter glass jug with a cork of Gibson's 12 year age Canadian whiskey for $9.99. They had, well, it's gone now, but they had. So I said, $5.99, there's no downside. It's straight bourbon. Uh, madness. So I, I have to buy it. I always say I'm not going to buy anymore, but you can't pass up a deal like that. Not if you're in this game. So uh, Robert, the whiskey scout, the whiskey scout. He said he has a bottle and he was showing interest to me he said let's I'll do a um, examination so we're going to try to set that up so it's uh, aged four years in not just oak but charred oak never before used charred oak by the way that's the law it's amber all right so this is the first video review for this Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey in the world so here's the opening never had it before Hey. Now, if it says Kentucky, that's your designation. It has to be, whoops, a clean glass, but I see a little, uh, little speck of lint, something. All right. Uh, so it doesn't have to say distilled in Kentucky because the name is the, the designation Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Now, where, where it's bottled is irrelevant. It can be bottled anywhere. That doesn't matter. It just has to be distilled and aged in Kentucky. Bottling, no problem. It's a pretty dark color. Now you say, well, they probably add caramel color. Nope, that's the law. Can't add caramel coloring or any any kind of coloring or any kind of flavoring to straight bourbon whiskey. Can't do it. Blended whiskey, yes. Blended bourbon whiskey, which is a class of whiskey, blended bourbon, you can add the flavoring. And that has to be at least 51% straight bourbon. But this is 100% straight Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey for $5.99, a 1,000 liter bottle. Uh, <laughs> wish it was, 1,000 milliliter bottle. So, uh, we have prices in this state, Louisiana, that are really beyond belief. Okay, but anyway, enough of that. Let's go with it. Uh, I didn't see it on liquor.com 
or Proof 66 is not listed. No videos, so here we go. And oh, I went to an international market. There it was on the shelf, so it's hitting the market around here. I hadn't seen it before. Okay. Deep wood, deep oak. Oh, yeah. Rich, now I was looking on uh, one of the liquor websites, like uh, liquor store websites. You know, a lot of liquor stores have their own website, like Specs, Market View Liquor, Ace Liquor, and they um, will give product descriptions. Obviously, sell sheets from the company. They're not making up their own copy. They're just going to say, oh, sell sheet, copy, paste, Psh, there it is. Okay. So somebody's distributing it around here. Is it Republic National? Is it Glazers? Uh, I don't know. Rich wood, deep rich wood, actually. If you like a lot of oak, you'll love this. Char, yes. Vanilla, yes. Candied fruit, cake fruit, yes. Some nectar from like a honeysuckle, all of that. All of that. Now, I have 20 something dollar bottles, 750 milliliter bottles like Jack Daniels. He said, and ain't bourbon, it's Kentucky, uh, Tennessee whiskey. It is bourbon, but it's marketed as Tennessee whiskey. That's another video. We've done that video. Um. Smells great. Uh, I did the Tom Sims, which was about $9.99 for the $7.50. I bought that in Texas. And uh, my friend David was like, this stuff's not good. And I said, it is good. I don't understand why you say it's not good. And he was saying, oh, you need to live a little. Don't spend your money on cheap stuff like that. I said, well, it's, it was only $9.99. And um, then I, he, he was, I said, in 20 years, he'll have drunk 10% of the bottle. I said, can I use that bottle for taste challenges? He said, yeah. And then he said, you're an Indian giver. You get, you took it back. I said, you could have had it. I asked, could I use it? I mean, I just can't. I don't have access to it. If I lived where they sold Tom Sims, I'd buy it. You know, I'd get the six-year age like I should have when I was in Texas. But I'll buy him something nice because he's, he's very finicky about these things. I am not. Really, and people are like, I've noticed some of the video, you did Hartley Brandy, so finicky people don't do Hartley Brandy, I know. I think I know what I'm going to get him for a Christmas present, and I know what I'm going to get my daughter for a Christmas present. She'll get gin, he'll get bourbon. Here we go. The taste. Um, char oak and I say this about bourbon which probably doesn't endear me to some people reviewers I, I, I have to be honest I, I noticed that bourbon has some commonalities all the ones I've tried Buffalo Trace I've tried the Pappy Van Winkle 18 year age I tried the um, Four Roses 10 year age special edition you know oh, so many they have a commonality, and that's a strong character of yellow corn grits. Well, I eat the white grits. You know, we get the white hominy grits, but the yellow corn grits is what they make it with. Here comes the heater. Well, you know, it's cold, so. Um, you just get that. It's so heavily corn, corn liquor. Well, that's what it is. You know, bourbon has to be at least... 51% corn whiskey. It could be 100% corn. It just has to be at least 51%. Uh, but normally they'll add rye whiskey. Um, wheat. Or uh, barley. Other things. You can do that. The other grains are, doesn't matter. They don't, they don't matter. You know. As long as it's 51% corn, the other 49% can be anything. Alright, but it has to be aged in a new charred oak barrel for at least two years. Beyond that, people talk about, oh, well, uh, the Jack Daniels is uh, filtered through charcoal, mellowed through. 
the, look, the mellowing and the filtering are irrelevant. Look at the law, Tax and Trade Bureau. They, they don't even mention filtering, mellowing, any of that. That's that has no bearing on whether it's bourbon or not. Okay, I'm sorry, it doesn't. Uh, yeah, you do pick up some limestone water. And that's what the Kentucky thing is so good for with the limestone water. It's so clean. I think it's kind of like what they say with beer where they burtonize the water. Um, you, you go to St. Louis where they make Budweiser and they use Mississippi River water. Well, you know, that's full of mud. That's why it's a muddy Mississippi. It's brown. You know the filtering and the treatment to the water is very intense. But this is Kentucky limestone water. This is artesian, artesian water, all right? Or, or, or even spring water. It's clean. It's a lot of heavy char, a lot of heavy corn. Um, not so much in the nectar and the vanilla and the flower is really floral. Um, there's some kind of spiciness, like almost you would say, like a, a fall spices that people would put in pie and whatnot. It doesn't have any of that. I think that must be coming from rye. They might give it a kicked up rye. Uh, I wouldn't say this is a high rye, but let's say an elevated rye. Would most people buy this for drinking neat? No. No, most people are going to buy this for either on the rocks or, and that would be at the minimum, and probably for mixing. You know, hey, well, that's what it's done for. But then, for the same price, they'll get the, the uh, Bellows blended whiskey, which a lot of the liquor stores describe as a blended bourbon. It isn't really technically blended bourbon. It's blended whiskey, which is 20% straight bourbon. But uh, anyway, uh, but a lot of these, they'll... They perceive it as that. Although Indian people tasting it might might perceive it as that. But anyway, um, I think it's fine. I, I'm not going to sit here talking about how world class it is or outstanding or anything like that. I mean, I have some self control, but um, for five ninety nine a liter, which you're never going to see that price. Okay, that's a outlandishly low price. So. It's probably more like about on the on the websites it's showing like ten ninety nine, you know specs market view still cheap right for straight bourbon a liter, but it's good. It's not sour mash, but there's a little tanginess in the nose, like a, a little sour, but not really. But um, you know the old crow would be much more sour than, that. but um. I like old crow. Um, it's a repurchase, not you know in theory. I'll probably never repurchase. I'm about to show you all these other ones I got coming, but um, it's good. It's a B. It's 82 out of 100. I'm gonna say 80. I feel safe saying 82 out of 100. Um, B minus. That'd be a B minus. So at the lower end of good. 80, 81, 82. That's an initial. Uh, I might drink on it and think on it, and the score could go higher, could go lower. I have a feeling it'll go higher. But um, for five ninety nine a liter, <laughs> I'd have been pleased with a C minus, tell you the truth. But um, hey, you never know. All right, so laissez les bon temps relay, a B minus, eighty two out of one hundred, and I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all come on down to southeastern Louisiana. Now the add on part. These are the ones I have coming up. Next in line, and this is going to take me through 2020 and maybe into through 2021 because I got so many Canadian and Scotch uh, and then American blended that I get got to get through with these taste challenges. It takes forever. I have Cooper's Craft 750. This is this will run you about 22 bucks. Mathern's had it for 9.99. There was no way I was passing that up. I've heard good things about it, mostly. So. I mean, you see those deals, you take the deal. Uh, McKenna, Henry McKenna, you see McKenna. Uh, this is their base model, straight, Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. Um, oh, you can get very expensive McKenna's 
very expensive but this is the base model the entry level um, yeah true story 1855 uh, this is from Heaven Hill these days this bottle I bought <laughs> at, in St. Charles Parish $8.99 a bottle no way I was passing that up $8.99 Jim Beam repeal batch non chill filter limited edition prohibition repeal tribute you see it around 43% 86 proof like Jim Beam used to be before it got watered down like Jack Daniels used to be before it got watered down to 80 yeah Walmart had it for 12 I think it rang up 12.35 it was priced at 13.99 but it rang up 12.35 Walmart usually it will do that it'll ring up lower go to Circle K it's gonna ring up higher gotta watch the but you don't argue about the lower right you only argue about the higher that's coming and then the last one ancient age ancient ancient age sorry 10 star ancient ancient age this is the six year age 90 proof got this in uh, Mississippi never never in my life seen it in Louisiana we get the preferred and we get the uh, ancient age standard the you know three year age but not this this was uh, $13.99 in Mississippi so all these great deals that's going to carry me for a year or more and that's that okay. thanks for watching this video